do we have here? Well, there's a lot of evidence. The gun was left here, and the uh, daughter told us about a friend who slept here all night. Hey. Sex overdone, huh? Oh, yeah. At least you had fun, though, right? Who was the gun registered to? We're not sure yet. Uh, we just sent it in, so we're waiting to hear back. If I understand this correctly, this is the third death this week within the Verica Corporation? Yeah. Yeah. Case getting interesting. Yep. Detective James Franklin. Who's this? Someone who's going to tell you everything about Mr. Noir's death. Well, how will I know? Trace it. Stop touching yourself. Who the hell are you? I'm Lucinda Kavsky, CIA. I will tell you everything I know about this case. Okay? Okay. Well, hot damn if I don't believe that story. How'd you get into this mess? You know, I think you're gonna have to contact Rodney Williams of the CIA. There's no other I've choice. already sent all the proof to him. Well, you gotta tell him about the other bombs inside the kids. Where are they now? They're still in China. But this week... All the families with bomb-bearing kids mysteriously want a vacation on the radio from the same tour company. One family goes to India, another to Africa, and one to Russia. The trips start next week, which means in a week, we will have a big bang, Detective Franklin. Okay, well, I got one question for you. Why do you need to kill the scientists? Do you think they deserve to live? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Aside from these three, nobody else can create this bomb. They knew the formula by heart. It makes sense. Your explanation's good enough for me. We have a tail. I'm not surprised. You've got to lose them. I'm not used to running away. Normally I do the exact opposite. Hold on. Highway 4A. The suspects are armed and dangerous, and they are actively chasing me. We are headed towards 63rd Street. They are in a black SUV. License plate number 368-498. Damn it, we need backup immediately. Now you're gonna get your backup. Careful, Cindy. <laughs> Put your weapon on the ground! 
damn it, just gonna buckle up. Back off and stand down. This is a matter of national security. Sir, drop your weapon. I warned you. Godsman, what the hell are you doing? Are you crazy? Handling it. Just listen to me. Stop fighting. Surrender and I will get you out. If we won't talk. Well, we'll get him to talk. The situation is critical. That's why I've already given the data to China. The evacuation of the children has already begun. We're putting them on a ship. The plan is to take it far out to sea and leave it there until the bombs have been deactivated. Regarding Mr. Z, we detected a call on Godsvit's phone from a fine agent by the name of Jerry McKellen. Hi, Serpent. Hello, Director. You know, you really shouldn't have thrown me out of the CIA like a piece of garbage, but... I guess that's not really the point now, is it? You know that I know that you sent uh, troops to my place to get me, but what you don't know is I rigged that entire facility with bombs. So, unless you want the deaths of all those people on your hands, I would suggest you tell them to stay the fuck out of there. Why are you doing this? I want power. I want absolute fucking power. There is no way. For you to make this right. Your career is finished. Because you're an idiot. And a damn loser. Now get out of my sight. No, in my office. They're throwing me out of my ass. What happened? I'll explain later. Will you do me a favor, though, and grab the flash drive that's in my computer? That dipshit didn't give me a chance to back up. I'll do it for you. I owe you after Brazil. Thank you. And Serp, if you, if you ever need anything, you let me know. I got your back, OK? times have I specifically told you to follow directions? you speak to the subject give me his card hi Robson what's up hey I need a favor yes so I'm getting married in four days congrats and what do you need of me old chap God's bib just hit me with a last minute rush assignment. It's uh, security for a convoy in China. China, you say? Yeah, it's, I mean, you just um, accompany a couple of bioengineers and nanotechnology scientists, and once they arrive safely, 
you come right back. And it's access code three since you passed your test. It's a no-brainer, right? Man, if uh, everything goes smoothly, I'm not even gonna make it to my wedding on time. Just please do this for me, and I will owe you big time. To be honest, I don't have the slightest wish to go to China. But since you are asking me, I'll do it. Think of it as your wedding present. You are the best. He was handling the operation, by the way. Pierce. Easy, easy, easy. Cover that box, all right? Make sure it's locked in. Be careful with the equipment. Yo, make sure it's locked in, all right? Yes, sir. for this convoy. Nice to see you too. You know what? Screw this shit. I'm calling God's bid. Agent code out for Tango Bravo 129 er Put the director on. Does it sound urgent? Put him on. Yes. It's better to do the op with someone like that. You know what? He's got Marzen's disease or some shit like that, all right? He doesn't feel hot and cold in his hands, and he sweats a lot. Oh, right. There are five or six doctors in the world that can do this surgery, and they're all here right on this plane. Why the fuck am I explaining this shit to you anyway? Are you there? Well, put the director on. Fuck. Kill him, Pierce, this hey? Why the hell are you here? Where's Robson? I thought you were aware of my new access level. Shall we start the operation? This is exactly why I don't want you on this convoy. Moving out. What's the operation about? I don't know anything. Can you explain? Sure. We are going to China. The Chinese doctors. And conducting experiments on Chinese patients. Fuck you. Take care of it. Darling. Is everything all right? Why are you sitting in the dark? Everything's fine, honey. gone the hands can feel the cold if i was you i'd be thinking about something else right now like when was the last time you used a parachute are you joking who packed it you i won't jump with it i don't trust you you want to jump too bad because as soon as we hit that green zone we're all out the door Take this. I'll take yours. I think I want to kill. 
kill you or something? What should I think? After you left me bleeding. I left to get back up. And we'd both be dead if I did. It was you who violated protocol, not me. I packed this bag for Robson, not you. So you got nothing to worry about. Ladies and gentlemen, let me have your attention. The flight out to the green zone has gone perfectly. In a few minutes, we will open the hatch. Now, you've all been given sat -nabs. This will help you track each other. First thing we will do is deploy the cargo, and then all of you will jump out after it. <laughs> What's up with him? Scared to jump? I don't give a shit if he's scared to jump or not. We reach a green zone, everyone's getting off this plane. No! I'm scared! Don't be afraid, my little Chinese friend. We will help you. No! Pierce? No, 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 no. No, no, hey. Surgery takes one hour and 40 minutes. Your job is to stall at all costs, give enough time for the operation. You use the staff entrance. This is where you'll set up the surveillance cameras. You need to block this entrance so no one comes from outside. If necessary, eliminate any hostiles. Are we going for kill shots or are we just putting them down? You're calm. The director is very nervous about this operation. Have you ever seen him not nervous? In Brazil, when you left me there bleeding, he was also pretty damn nervous. You knew the location of what you were getting into. You left the cover zone. Focus now. Getting started. Whoa, man. Guys, you're down loud, man. We lie. Gauss woman. We lie. Gauss woman. Woman, guys, you so.
Serpent. Check status. Serpent. Yes? All clear. But I need help removing an unwanted package. Is it a local carrier? No. An international. Seems we're not alone here. The operation starts in two minutes. I need you here. Don't worry about the dead guy. He ain't going nowhere. Take care of it later. This seems to be a maternity ward. Newborns are having a special chip installed to prolong their lives. This operation will make history. The question is whether we'll have a beautiful future or no future at all. They might not have known the outcome, but they definitely knew the risks. If the child dies and becomes handicapped after the operation, the agency will make up the damage to the parents. Pierce. We took the clinic by force and neutralized everybody here. You will delete all the footage from the surveillance cameras. Why would anyone ever know we were here? Just relax and do your job. That's all. What happened in Brazil? I was doing my job. What were you doing there? We've got a guest. It's a cat. She's trying to get in. Get rid of her. Is that her yelling so loud? Shoot the bitch. I'm not going to shoot a cat. You don't shut her up, I will. No, whoa. I got it. Hiding behind a tree. Let's scare her off with a gas grenade. A grenade. <laughs> I got it. Call the Air Force. The situation is out of control. Where is she? Pierce, you're being louder than the damn cat. Maybe it would be better to shoot you down. On the cat's fucking side. What? What? What's with the hazmat suits? Has... Why the hell did you go in there? It's none of your fucking business. I'll give my own report to the head of the CIA as soon as I get back. And I'll mention the guest. Who I have to get rid of. I don't give a shit. Report what the fuck you want. We have to come back anyway. The damn cat woke up the whole fucking district. Did you check if the dead agent had any documents on Of course I did. An American citizen walking around in China without documents, but with a 12 caliber gun and an arsenal of explosives? Something is very wrong here. Yeah, something is very wrong here. Director, do you even understand that your life depends on this operation?
I do. I need your full concentration on this. One call to the press and I will destroy you. For life. Where's Dr. Lee? Would he just disappear? I'm leaving with the other doctors, all right? We have exactly seven minutes before we have to evacuate. You stay and find Lee and take the next plane out. You got it? Let's go. Dr. Lee, come with me. We don't have time. Here, you need this. Agents from the Department of Internal Investigations. You say nothing about the operation in China. Do you hear me? Pierce, in my office in 10 minutes. You hear me? Nothing. Go to the interrogation room. Since when are you in charge? The office over. They're waiting for you. Agent Kasky, follow me. When was the last time you saw Agent Robson? I saw him three days ago in the office. Why? What happened? Agent Robson was murdered, shot in the head at point blank range. We dusted for prints, but we found nothing yet. Who's in charge of this case? Who is running the investigation? Captain Johnson Douglas. I have to go. Guys, I'm not done with you yet. Am I under order from Director Godsbit? No. I told you everything I know. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. Okay, Agent Ford? I'm Lucinda Dukowski. I worked with Agent Robson Walker, and I have some information for you. Okay, follow me. Director. We have a problem. I went to China instead of Robson as a favor. He was supposed to get married tomorrow. All right, so tell me about this op in China. She's sending everything to Biggles from IA. Well, work it out with him. All right, if you were on the op, then you have an ironclad alibi. But who would want to kill him? Expose her. She's nothing but trouble. You have any ideas? No clue. And you make sure and bury her. Yes, sir.
Thank you. Can I help you? today. You're under arrest for the murder of Agent Robson. I advise you not to resist. Why break down the door? Couldn't you just ring the bell? Get her out of here. Make sure you find that damn flash drive. Yes, sir. the operation, so listen closely. First, Director Godsbiv is being controlled by a man known as Mr. Z. Nobody knows his real name. What I do know is that he's incredibly powerful, and Godsbiv is under his complete control. I don't know how far his influence goes, but you must trust no one. To the wall. Hands up, behind your head. this time I thought you'd completely forgot about me no I didn't five years is not a long time compared to what awaits you here <laughs> sounds promising what's this chess strategies it might be a worthwhile read the chess game is still ahead of you I can't go through with this, Serpent. I thought I could, but I can't. There could be no loose ends on our side, Serpent. 
That's why everyone we know is dead. All the operating doctors are dead. The only ones alive are you and me. Jerry, I need the address of Abby Sue. All right, hold on, hold on, looking. And, sir, thanks for holding on to that flash drive for me. Sure. I found her. She's in the Shangdong province? Looks like it's a landline. Put me through a secure connection. Are you gonna talk to her? Do you speak Chinese? <laughs> no. Nope, definitely don't speak Chinese. All right, stand by. Nihau? She's here. Here in New York? Can you find out where they are staying? Oh, look at that. The Waldorf Astoria on the famed Park Avenue. Looks like they're checked in for four days.
Jerry? I've prepared a present. Avi is being followed. I want to get rid of this tail. At least buy us some time for a while. Okay, but... I... Whatever you do, don't draw any more attention to yourself. That's almost impossible. Right. Just stay away from that taxi, okay? Don't worry, I will. I'm Lucinda. I'm a friend of your parents. Do you want to come play with me? Let's go. Mom and Dad are with Aunt Sin. I know. Can we pretend to be cats and get out of here? Yes, like cats. Yes, let's go. There she is. Send it to the idiots so they know what she looks like.
sure you didn't see it? It's this one. You sure you didn't see him go through? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Sorry. Thank you. Do you like your new look? Split up. I'll cut him off. They're fast, I must have. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Do not open fire. We can't hit the girl.
Jerry, I need you. All right. I need the address of Bordenaka. He's got a private clinic just outside the city. I'm sending you the address to your GPS now. One more favor, please. Yeah, why am I not surprised? I'm assuming Avi has a tracking chip in her. Any advice? Turn on the radio suppressor on your tablet. It'll cut out communication within a three-mile radius. Thanks, Jerry. I'll check with you later. I want my mommy. I want to go home. I don't want to play anymore. understand the consequences here? How did she even cross the ocean? How did she get through customs? It shouldn't have happened. Where is she now? She's disappeared. Find them. Hi, Aka. As always with you, there's a crisis, right? This time you don't need to reassemble me. We have another situation entirely. Status update. Sir. Three agents are dead. Two wounded. And we lost three cars. I want to go home. I know, baby. But first, Dr. Tracker is going to check and make sure you're OK. OK. Use as many additional forces as you can. Call in all reserves and find the girl. Copy that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Attention to the mess. We're still in the middle of renovations. The clinic's not open yet. They're gone from the radar and out of the reach of the satellite. They most likely disabled the tracking system. No, with the mess fool you, I have anything and everything I can need to help you here. What's up, my brave little girl? I need to tell you something. They disappeared somewhere in the circle. Ask the chopper to give me pictures here, here, and here. I've never seen anything like this before. I can't believe she's still alive, that thing in her head. Now you understand why we're here. This is some seriously advanced nanotechnology. Essentially, this would be making her a nuclear weapon. Biological ticking time bomb. There's a huge risk she'll die if I try to remove the device. If you don't, she'll die for sure. Why should I do it? I'll lose my license and spend my life in prison. This is suicide. You're alone in this clinic, except for us, yes? Then it's simple. You'll do the operation, or you'll do the operation with my gun to your head. You threatening me? Don't make me use force. Just get this thing out of her head. We don't even know what we're dealing with here. I shouldn't even touch her. I can't complete an operation like this alone. I'll assist you. I need assistance with medical experience. You know what I'm capable of. You're just good with a gun. We don't have time for any of this. We'll have to make do with what we have, Doc. Let's go. Do we have satellite data available? They're gone from the radar and out of the reach of the satellite. They most likely disabled the tracking system. Clint. The signal is back. We're right next to us. What? Get ready. We're going to take the building. Doctor, you're going to finish without me. This is so typical. Let me know when it's completed.
So what now? You're gonna blow up my clinic? That's the thanks I get? You're the one who said I was good with a gun. The operation was successful. I have the chip in my hand. How's Avi? We have to wait until she wakes up. In a minute, I'll be upstairs. To pick up the chip. You and Avi will be fine. But I have to leave. Thank you. Lucinda, take care. You too. Somewhere under New York City. Okay, do you have the chip? I do. There's some code. I want to know what it means. Well, you have to get it to me as soon as possible. I can't tell you who made it until I can actually have a chance to look at it. All right, let's see. You're coming up on the radar now. You're at 57th and Broadway. Get there and send me everything that you can to this address. What would I do without you? Yeah, no shit. Jerry. Wait a, wait a, wait a minute. Holy shit, there's all kinds of classified data here. Looks like the work of Verda Corporation. They do nuclear physics and bio research. Let's see, the program was financed by, oh great, the Department of Defense. Big money there, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, the authors are Zagreb Duansky, Michael Bond, and Roar Noir. I've sent you their personnel files now. The program was closed five years ago. These guys are sociopaths. They used to do experiments on women and children. I hope you're ready to sort this one out, kid. 
Oh, hey, one more thing. Did you see you had a message from Pierce? Why wouldn't he contact me directly? Look at the video. Pierce is gone. Talk later, Jerry. Now about the operation. We helped create what's being called biobombs, human weapons, make an atomic bomb look like child's play. They've chosen children as their hosts. a lot of time, Serpent. They're coming for me, so listen close. But we do know it will be somewhere in Southeast Asia. Four kids, four bombs, four cities. It will be strategically located through tour agencies. And then the button gets pushed. The question is why I think that a disaster this big will take the attention off the internal issues. There can be no loose ends on our side, Serpent. The only ones alive are you and me. You can't go through with this, Serpent. I thought I could, but I can't. Develop a plan to neutralize the bombs. I need your help. You're the only person I trust. Hey, if you're nice to me.
What is your name? And what do you do? Well, you want to talk. I have spent my life helping to weed out the population of biological garbage. Sick and ugly kids, gimps, psychos, wild animals. I sanitize society. I am a wolf. Ah, people shouldn't be ugly. You should be beautiful. That's my motto. How do you fit into your motto? Having a belly like that. You're a bit of a porker. What did you say? Because I am the upper crust. Lucinda Kofsky. I'm Professor Archer. We studied your test, and we'd like to offer you a job. Hello? And are you listening to me? Dad comes to pick me up today. You're coming over. I promised to show you our new pool, remember? Oh, here's mm -hmm. Dad. Daddy, can Angie stay over tonight? I don't mind. Nice to meet you. I'm Ruar. Neck was snapped. Looked like a professional job. Nobody knows a thing. What about the camera? Yeah, not in this zone. We're checking with all the guests now, though. Give me his ID. I'm gonna check it out in the database. The fly's undone. <laughs> so what are you studying? I would like to become a lawyer. Perfect choice. I say the same to Vita, but she has not chosen a serious profession. Designer. A lawyer makes much more money. Dad, please! I'm just following my heart. All right, fine. As you wish, my dear. Let's go, Nick. Zagribdownski, ex-personnel of the Pentagon, graduated military bioengineering. Yeah, you found something pretty interesting. I, I think you're going to want to see this. Ex-personnel of the Pentagon doesn't exist. What do you do, Mr. Noir? Nuclear physics. Atomic bombs. Wow. Cool. And where is your wife? She's away. In India. Don't you get lonely at night? Mm. Mm. 
We should go. We have a lot of homework to do. All right, just don't kill him too early or we're never going to be able to deactivate the damn chip. I got it. I got just it. make sure you keep him talking. We need his voice to crack the password. I was waiting for you. Come to me. Such a skilled girl. Advanced youth. Put your hands up. Would you like to keep me here? Yes. I would never let you go. And what would be the passcode? E equals MC squared. No, wait. Let me be creative. This is not a defeat. No surrender or failure. It is a simple attack. The king is in check. To be especially protected, that's the part he must play. For he is the king. You won't find him in a church, and he's not as tall indeed. But the name of the piece is the same. Bishop. He may clatter over other pawns and other pieces, for he is the knight. There is a famous rule you cannot take the king. You can freely instead take and kill yeah, I got it. the queen. Nicely done, you were fucking amazing. I want absolute fucking power. And I have that now. One squeeze and a billion people die. I did all his dirty work on the ground over there. I thought he was helping me. And the whole time he was using me. Don't blame yourself, Lucinda. It's a tricky game that we play. Hey, you just got taken. Don't let it happen again. Maybe there's still something, something I can do. He likes me. He likes the game. I feel I'm the only one who can stop him. Yeah, woman's intuition. Are you with me? Why risk my life? Oh, this is a suicide mission. I'm out of friends to ask. And if we don't stop this insanity, you risk your life anyway, along with a billion others. You're convincing. Well, well, well. Agent Kovsky, I'd like to thank you. And as a parting gift, I will send you the coordinates of the ship. So you actually expect me to believe you again? I want you to be promoted and awarded medals. You know I've always been on your side. Not really convincing. Look, what do you want from me? You want to save the world? You want to save all the children? And I'm giving you that opportunity. I gave you the coordinates and the location of the ship. You do with it what you want. I've got a world to conquer. Jerry? You think he's bluffing? Hey, check your phone. Looks like we've got coordinates. 
If he's sick enough to play this game of cat and mouse, then these could be the real coordinates. We have to take the risk and assume this is real. We need to mobilize the team immediately. Use extreme caution. It'll be visible to the enemy at all times. When we get on the ground, let's move, people. I expect a good show. Well, now we have something to celebrate, Doc. Let's get ready to make some waves, Dr. Lee. Yes! James, what do you see? The ship's deserted. Nothing, there's no one here. But I hear the children. There's no one up on the bridge. The ship is all shot to shit. There's blood everywhere. I've got bad news. What's up? Shit. Lucinda, I see rocks in front of us. We are gonna go down. You need to hurry up. How long will it take before we hit the rocks? We still have a few minutes. I'm coming back your way. James, I found them. Hi, my dears. Well, who's crying here? Serpy! Turn off the loudspeaker!
I always wanted a big family. What do you say? You want to get married? I don't mind. Yeah. But you don't speak Chinese. You always learn. <laughs> See that? That's where the bombs are. Ready to annihilate half the Earth's population. <laughs> Wait. With extreme caution, you'll be visible to the enemy at all times. Don't let them know that we know. There must be some interference or something in the line. What? Lee, what's going on? We'll beat Jerry at his own game. Good news. The first bomb was deactivated in Russia, and the child's all right. That's the Russian bomb, Lee. What the fuck? What is going on? The system will only work for two hours, so we need to hurry and distract Jerry. Hey, it's time to push the button. All the bombs are deactivated. Hey! Jerry? I know you're watching this. 